Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another exercise. This exercise turned out to be far harder than I was expecting. Four canter poles at the top of my school, fairly tight turnaround to what ended up being a jump just with their placement pole and a sort of pole on landing just to help. And then another quite tight turn to what was three canter poles, but I had in intended on making them into bounces, but I didn't get that far. So here's me walking through it. It was an exercise to try and help with gymnastic work for both boys, help with straightness, help with keeping a really good quality canter, especially around those turns, keeping the horses quite supple around my inside leg while not losing them through my outside leg. There was just so much to work on through this exercise. I've started with corporal. Annoyingly, I couldn't video all of the exercise, so I've had to break it down into like different angles and I did move the camera around a lot so hopefully you can still get a gist of how it went. Corporal was quite cheeky today, it took a bit to settle, um, quite strong which is always a good sign because it means he's happy but yes a little bit cheeky. I'd given him a good warm up and walk first, walked over the poles for quite a long time and as you can see started off in trot just trying to find a nice even rhythm. So we made this exercise a little more exciting by raising the pole a tiny bit and you can see someone's enthusiasm for it. This I found hard because the canter poles at the top, you kept a nice balance. He then got a little bit keen about the mini jump and then I had to kind of really use my seat aid to bring him back again for the next lot of canter poles. So it's just really good exercise all round. We moved on to Artie. Artie's biggest issue through this exercise was the turns on the, you know, the tight corners. He tended to find it hard to bend around my inside leg and then he got quite strong in the contact and then his head became a little bit too low and he just became heavy. So it was about trying to keep him light. But the other good thing about this exercise when we get into canter is I actually realised that I was holding him back too much and I needed to allow him to keep moving forward more without letting him get too long. So it was tricky but highlighted lots of areas I needed to keep working on. After I'd cantered through the poles both ways, I then raised the little fence like I did with Corporal and it was the same again, it was working on the rhythm staying the same from the top canter poles to the fence to the bottom poles and not losing him on the turns, making sure the rhythm stayed the same but also making sure he kept impulsion, he got better and better. Another short video, I must get better at videoing for longer, I'm useless at it. I really enjoyed this exercise. The other thing I found helped was it really helped the horses engage their hind end. So the kind of 90 degree turns in between each sort of sets of poles really made them have to sit under it themselves a bit more and come up in the front. So it was really good, really useful exercise. I'm going to hopefully do it again and raise the jumps and put the bounces in this time. And I will try and get someone to actually video it rather than me trying to stick my phone on the fence. Um, but yeah, 